charts and graphs. Figure out a way to graph your data tend to be easier for people to get an idea about your experiment results than the data table itself. You still need the data table, but generally speaking, people will look at your chart or graph to look for the results. Whenever possible, we want to graph averages of the dependent variable. Quite often, the type of chart we will use is called a column graph, or sometimes what's called an XY scatter graph. We also use what are called pie graphs if we're comparing percentages. Later on, we'll learn how to use spreadsheet programs like Google Docs. On our school computers, we have Microsoft Office Excel. It does cost money to use Microsoft Excel at home, but the Google Docs spreadsheet is a great free alternative. On your chart and graph, make sure that you include labels, labels on the X axis and the Y axis. Be sure that you have a title. And if you're turning your chart or graph in as part of a class assignment, be sure to include your name in that title. Otherwise, your graph or chart looks just like everyone else's. If you're doing one for science fair, you don't want to include your name in the title. Also, be sure to include the units on the x-axis and on the y-axis. Generally speaking, the independent variable should be on the x-axis and the dependent variable, that's your results, on the y-axis. Remember that x-axis is from left to right and the y-axis is up and down on the graph.